CNN. I'm your host, Anderson Cooper, and today we're going to be interviewing three thick boys from the Cold War. Let's start off. Spicy thoughts. Don't interrupt me again, okay? I'm not paying you to say stuff. Let's start off with interviewing my boy, Harry S. Truman. Yeah, America. Good, you know, uh, <clears throat> just got uh, resurrected from the dead to be on this uh, talk show. Yeah. Barack, yeah, yeah, we can't let him know that uh, my, my news channel's fake, and, uh, oh, um, Truman. Um, and why is that, Mr. Truman? Stop recording me. This is my- Not until we kill you off. Oh, uh, well, that's, uh, oh, crap. Just, just ask your freaking questions. Oh, um. Yeah, Mr. Truman, what was your uh, reason for joining the war? Looks like he's a little LARPer. You know, uh, uh, oh, Dovican. Uh, I forgot. Skyrim Steel Sword. <laughs> Jake, should we make it where it's like, oh, uh, why did I join the war? Uh, I forgot. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That, that damn communism keeps spreading. Uh, didn't want this communism getting into America. Yeah. Uh, hi. You keep recording me there. Hey, could you tell us about the Truman Doctrine? <laughs> what, what are you doing? Now, see here. <clears throat> Let's just put it simply. We gave a little, we had to give a little uh, something something to our brothers in the East. A little care package, you say. And, uh, we had to give, give them this little something, you say, because they, we didn't want them joining those Reds. Yes. Now, how do you think this war compares to terrorism? You know, going down in that Middle East, you know what I'm saying? The Iraqis. Yeah. Oh, present present day? I don't know crap about that. Uh, what year is it? Nineteen two thousand seventeen. Two thousand seventeen. Holy crap! That's like a lot of years from when I died. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about this year. I swear to freaking God. Sonic. Don't use the Lord's name in vain. Sonic. Barack. Yeah, yeah, we can't let him know that uh, my my news channel's fake. And, uh, oh, um, Truman. Um, and why is that, Mr. Truman? Stop recording me. This is my... <laughs> um, uh, give us a summary Racist. of the Cold War. Racist! Good luck raising a family. Yeah, this is your last interview, buddy. This is your last interview. How about you give us a summary of that Cold War? Oh, you see here, kiddo. There were two superpowers at the time. Soviets and... Why are you getting so close? And, there we go. And uh, America. Two superpowers. Soviets and America. And the America didn't want Democrats... America did not want uh, communism spreading out, and they knew the Soviets were for the summary of the Cold War. Well, it was cold. Ah, I'm just grinding your gears, findling your twinkles, pulling your legs. A summary of the Cold War. A summary of the Cold War. Well, it, w it was mostly involved sending aid to other countries and uh, sending threats to the USSR. Though the though the USSR and America never really fought, it was it mostly revolved around. Fear as well, because they're fearing like, oh crap, who's are the, is America gonna strike first, or is or is USSR gonna strike first? So uh, yeah, aid to other countries, threats, and fear. It was also about changing government types and fighting those extreme terrorists. Are you zooming in on me? <laughs> Day is about. Are you
Anyways, thanks for answering all my questions. Now we got a uh, real communist accuser, Mr. McCarthy. This was my granddad's. He was on the other side. <laughs> World War II. Give me your questions so I can go back to being dead. So, what were your motivations in the accusations of communism? <clears throat> to get rid of the traitors in our country. The votes. The polls. What are, don't you think that uh, accusing people of communism kind of messes with their rights, bruh. Oh. Oh. That's hard. Oh. Where's the rock, Jeremy? Whoa. Oh. All right, all right, yeah, shut it off. That's how I got kicked out. Violation. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's a little bit violation. America! So that's how I got kicked out. Violation of it. <laughs> Communist. Oh. The flag still stands for freedom. Oh. This is Wait. You killed him! Get him, boys! Get him, boys! Give me up. This is my show now. Нет, that was a very stupid decision. Uh, well, uh, it's only God for you, um, so... Well, let me tell you a little secret. Uh, you know the uh, whole, uh, Bad Joseph, yeah? Da? Da, da. Yeah, it's the West Imperials. <laughs> anyway... The reason why he was on the show in the first place is it was in a bet with uh, Boroslav Vladimir Dermist Levoshk in the uh, Babushka the, uh, you know, bar down uh, right near the Kremlin, you know. You just uh, go down and, um, you know, Gulag Road and turn the left on the, uh, you know, Imperial Western, you know, Propaganda Street and then it'll be on the right. Anyway, that's it. Anyway. Not something with the other Joseph right in here. Personal hero of mine. Right after our commercial break. I'm just kidding, we don't really give advertising on a dead great history project. I'm just. I'm just. Stalin. You, you get it? Stalin? Hopefully I made about a ten people cringe there. Okay, if it uh, wasn't obvious enough for bringing in uh, Joseph Stalin because for for Stalin, you get it, yeah. It's nice to see a Bolshevik as thick as you in the flesh. Yes, it is nice to see you too, comrade. Perhaps we should have a dinner sometime and maybe rent a hotel room to uh. Join together in the bond our political ideals for a greater, you know, ideal. With both of us together, we could overthrow the czars of all of the world, from the Anglo-Saxons of England to the Russians of us, Russia. I agree. I dislike sad. He gets it. You are like the Velvet Radio. I agree with both share. Perhaps we should do this hotel thing before dinner. Ah, uh, yes. But first, the interview. I'd like to ask you a few questions, comrade. 
And I will, of course, add you my name to the roster. Seeing as you two, I can also ask you if I were you motivated in uh, this war against uh, here and the Cold War. Because communism provides equality for all of its people, so we feel that we need to spread it to other countries that have opposing economic systems. <laughs> what? <laughs> why not just... Why not just interact and talk to the United States? Well, that's easy. Two nations that will do anything to protect their people and have nuclear weapons uh, it seems like it would endanger many lives if they just attacked one another, does it not? Oh. <laughs> Point to taken, comrade. Thank you for your congratulation on being here. I would gladly enjoy that hotel date later this evening. Anyway, while we've established the causes of the Cold War, a little bit on what's going on in America at the time. Even though McCarthy seems a bit biased. But that's all we've got for you today, folks. We'll see you next time for some of Russian riot. Mm. With a, you know, political prisoner. It's not me, of course. You'll always see my sexy face. But not with real guns either, because th that'd be a little bit bad and we'd get some protests, so we're going to use some, some Nerf guns, alright?